Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers. I'm looking at a book from the Law Society in their Litigation Guide series. It's on the Criminal Injuries Compensation Claims, 2008, and it's a guide to the new scheme. It's written by three people, Laura Begley, Aileen Downey and Claire Padley. This is the book, just under 200 pages, standard stuff from the Law Society, some very useful information at the beginning, chapter headings and so on. And then you've got some very important appendices at the back, which will help all of those of you who've been involved in this type of work and probably not quite so familiar with the new schemes. I've written a Flickr review with my, my wife, and this is going to be in the wider internet and also in the journals. Um, the title we've given this uh, review is The Essential Short Reference Work for All Involved in Criminal Injury Compensation Claims, an important area of law and will remain so for, for years to come, I'm sure. If you're a practitioner tasked with advising a victim of a crime of violence, this handbook, in our view, is essential and a welcome source of information and guidance in this sensitive and fraught area of law. In particular, it's directly, uh, directly relevant to data those seeking claims for compensation received after the 3rd of November 2008, which are covered now under the Criminal Injuries Compensation Scheme of 2008. Remember, of course, the earlier schemes that, that went before. That's why this book is timely. Under the new scheme, a number of important changes to the appeals process have been put in place. For instance, since the previous edition of this work, published in 2005, the first tier tribunal, that's the criminal injuries compensation area, for example, has replaced the criminal injuries appeals panel. So there's a sort of terminology change as much as anything else. And it's pointed out in the forward by Tony Summers, all appeals, including those under the earlier schemes, are now subject to the Tribunal Procedure First Tier Tribunal Social Entitlement Chamber Rules 2008. So the book therefore becomes essential, in our view, for, for familiarising practitioners and advocates with the new formality uh, now inherent in the appeals process and with the rules for appeal hearings and other important changes to the appeals process, which need to be considered, of course, by all the parties to the um, action. The book functions, therefore, as a supplement to the 2005 uh, claims book, which was written by Claire Plad uh, Padley and Laura Begley, and it obviously now contains a more detailed analysis um, of criminal injury compensation claims generally, and it's vital, therefore, to refer to both volumes to achieve the best results for your clients under the new scheme. It's scholarly, authoritative and up-to-date as of April 2010 and very much in keeping with the house style of the Law Society and it's a book which also contains copious appendices as I've mentioned towards the back um, including for instance the criminal injuries compensation schemes, a guide to the schemes themselves and usefully the tribunal procedure first tier, um, that's the first tier tribunal social entitlement chamber rules. Yes, therefore it's, a, it's an essential reference for all parties involved in criminal injury compensation claims from the time that the client actually comes into your office to the time they come perhaps to me and we do the actual case in, uh, in the courtroom or the tribunal. So thank you very much Law Society and to the three excellent authors. Bye-bye.